Hello everybody, Faye here and this video is a book review of Every Day and Another Day. Since Every Day and Another Day are basically almost the same, just shown through different perspectives, I'm going to focus on Every Day. So let's start with Every Day. Every Day in a Nutshell is about a person named A who wakes up in a different body every single morning and then one day he wakes up in the body of a boy named Justin and then he meets the girlfriend of Justin who is named Rhiannon and then he finds out that he is slowly falling in love with this girl every day I am someone else I am myself I know I am myself but I'm also someone else and because he falls in love with Rhiannon every rule that he has lived up to and followed changes now every day is seen through the perspective of a but another day is seen through the perspective of Rhiannon now about the covers of these books now both of them are dominantly monochromatic and if you notice the front covers of these books there is this dominant image of a person and in every day since it is told through the eyes of a it is a dude here who is at the front page front cover and in another day it is a girl who is probably Rihanna since every day and another day are seen through a different perspective, if you would ask me which one that I like more, I would prefer the perspective of A in every day. And the reason is I think it is more interesting because one, I've never met a person who wakes up in a different body every single day. And I think that it is I'm very curious of what does it feels like and what does a person like this thinks like and so I think I prefer this one more than the perspective of Rihanna. The main characters in this books are Justin, Rihanna, and A. A is the person who wakes up in a different body every single day and Rihanna is the girl that A will fall in love to and then Justin is the boyfriend of Rihanna. Now, A is a very interesting character, but somehow I disliked him for being selfish at times because of his love for Rihanna. So every day, yes, he wakes up in another person's body and then he sometimes risks the image of the person that he is in just for Rihanna. Well, Justin is the boyfriend of Rhiannon, who is for me is a very unlikable person, who is a book character, and also if he is real, he is very unlikable to me. And the reason is, one, he does drugs, he uses drugs, he drinks, he smokes, and he treats Rhiannon very badly, and he is an a-hole. I do not understand Rihanna and why she is in a relationship with this guy. And also the first time that I read the name Rihanna, I thought that it was really weird. It was like the combination of two names. For me, it was like the combination of Rihanna and John. And it somehow sounds like a boy's name, Rihanna. One major thing that I do not like about this book is the relationship of Justin and Rihanna. So, there is this constant thing that happens and that is Rihanna and Justin having sex after having a fight or having a problem and they believe that, for me, somehow their problems will go away and they will forget about their fight after sex and this is what happens all the time in the book. Sex is not the solution. You have to talk to the person. I don't understand you, Rihanna. I don't understand you. 
set the topic aside, I actually have here some quotations that I love. Now, these three quotes are from the book Every Day. Number one is said by A, and it is page 107 of Every Day. By seeing the world from so many angles, I get more of a sense of its dimensionality. That is one of the reasons why I want to be immersed or be introduced to different cultures and also read a lot of memoirs. Next quote, page 122. I actually forgot who said this. Let me see. <laughs> this quote is also by A and it is, I am always amazed by people who know something is wrong but still insist on ignoring it as if that will somehow make it go away. They spared themselves the confrontation, but end up boiling in resentment anyway. Yeah, Justin and Rhiannon. Sex won't solve their problems. And on page 175, and according to my notes, this is the perfect love quote. I'm not really sure if you still have the opinion on this quotation. So it goes. This is what love does. It makes you want to rewrite the world. It makes you want to choose the characters, build the scenery, guide the plot. The person you love sits across from you. And you want to do everything in your power to make it possible. Endlessly possible. And when it is just the two of you, alone in a room, you can pretend that this is how it is. This is how it will. Yes, and oh, it is now. I think somehow it is a perfect love quote because the person who will say it or the person who said it, who is A, is somehow satisfied with what is going on in their relationship. According to my notes, A wakes up in about 40 plus bodies in every day and if you will if you would make me pick one person here that is most likely has the same life as I do or is similar to me then the person would probably be Daniel and the reason that I could relate or I see myself in Daniel is every Saturday does not go to waste and I see that in my family because every Saturday or every weekend my family goes out and mostly watch a movie and in this book they watch an IMAX version of a Disney movie and my mother loves Disney movies <laughs> and Daniel goes to an art museum and sees Homer paintings and I see myself in that because I am a multimedia artist. And on this day, A said, it is a good day, and that certainly helps me more than a bad day. The reason that I am talking more about every day is I like every day more than another day. And <laughs> according to my notes, I say here, ew, I think Rhiannon is the one narrating. And, but then, I wrote next to that, is okay I'm starting to like the narrating part of Rihanna and then Rihanna is so naive she lets Justin treat her like a person who doesn't deserve to be loved to be honest I was really 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 interested in the premise of this story but then I somehow went overboard with this book First, I was really interested and I was excited. I didn't, I haven't ever read a book about a person who wakes up in a different body every single day, and I thought it was very interesting and made me curious. But then, the way that it was done, executed, I didn't really like it. That is for my book review of every day and another day. Thank you for watching, Mary Harry Neverwither. Keep on reading. Bye.